I was looking at this video that said uh, real teachers never quit or good teachers never quit. I can't remember exactly what. And it was a very positive and feel good video. And of course, the first thing I thought was maybe this was something that could be applied to martial arts. So I'm going to put a link to it in the description below this video. And while I really like the overall tone and of it, and I like the suggestions that it has for rejuvenating your passion for teaching the martial arts or teaching anything, because his primary audience was, you know, academic teachers who teach, you know, nine to five and teach our children, our youth. But however, I don't know if I agree with the idea that good teachers or real teachers never quit. I mean, look, I don't care what it is in life. If it's bringing you more pain than joy, and it's not like, you know, something that you're obligated to do, like taking care of a loved one, you have to let it go. And heck, some people let taking care of their family go if it's too much pain and it brings joy. You know, things like divorce or, you know, sometimes parents using tough love with their children. So, you know, I'm all for, you know, reaching back and giving back and, you know, we know that we really need teachers, but hey, if you're really miserable at your teaching job, I say it's time for you to move on to something else. If it's bringing you more pain than joy, you don't even feel like you're reaching the kids, you know, you don't have the support that you need to do your job, you should go because life's too short. You know, you can free up that opportunity to let somebody else come in there that might be able to do a better job than you that might have more love for it than you and you know what that's okay i give you permission if you're a teacher that if you're too burnt out to continue on i give you permission to move on peace